I still don't get it why they have to put multiple paths here on story mode map. I mean, if their aim is just to make the difficulty a little bit harder, they probably just need to make those units tankier, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, yep, this is what we have to deal with. And the very first step is the usual one. We're just gonna place our bull mama. And the reason why I'm a little bit annoyed, guys, is because, you know, if you guys actually watch my previous story mode map guide, it's just basically the same thing. Uh, well, the only difference is we're not gonna use Z but rather we're going to use and go back to Oryu, which is not actually going to be a progress. But anyway, the only difference on the first step, guys, is we're only going to be farming up until wave number two. There will be some decelerates here, like these decelerates. They're going to kill you guys if you will not place any unit up until wave number three. So that's the reason why you got to save and pause a little bit on your farming. But anyway, if your Oryu would be level 175, like my Oryu is level 175, you should not have any problems dealing with this so again guys all of my farm units here will be level 175 my Oryu is also level 175 and uh, I think my Tangan is only like level 80 plus so yeah the level of your Tangan is not really that needed as long as you will have like the probably the range orb on it and also the cost orb will be on our bull mama the fire orb will be on our Oryu so as I've mentioned earlier guys these decelerates you need to watch out for that and we cannot really just upgrade our bull mama even if we wanted to so we're not going to place our Oryu here so this is very important guys listen carefully because you gotta place your priority or your Oryu's priority to closest so all of your units will go to priority closest except for the Blackbeard we're going to talk about Blackbeard the placement and also priority later but once you already have your Oryu's just continue upgrading your bull mama and you should not have any problem here up until wave number seven all right so all of your money guys will just go straight to your bull mama if you cannot reach a particular level or probably a particular upgrade most likely you have a different level of your units and once you already can see that the next upgrade for your bull mama is 1500 it's now about time for you to place your speed wagon so uh, the reason why is because we cannot really reach or we don't have enough time and also money to actually have like 1500 before wave number five so that's the reason why we're also gonna try to make money you know what i'm saying so that's why we're just spending it on our speed wagon look at that guys just enough for upgrade number two so wave number five now we're now gonna go back to our bull mama upgrade your bull mama to one and do not spend your money right away to your speed wagon we can actually have 1600 once we already have killed like these group of decelerate units and we're just gonna wait for money guys and that would actually allow us to put another upgrade to our bull mama which is really gonna be good there you go all right so wave number six now very quick very fast and we're now gonna upgrade again our bull mama basically our priority here guys is to upgrade our bull mama first and we are only lacking 300 cash obviously that is really obtainable so we're just gonna wait for that and if ever you have probably lower level farm just try to make sure guys that you're upgrading your farms efficiently all right there you go 3,000 cash and we are now gonna step on wave number seven once you have already reached wave number seven guys just upgrade your Oryu to upgrade number one again this is a level 175 Oryu if you're gonna have a problem on you know killing those mobs probably you gotta check your priority because that also messed me up quite some time and the rest of your cash by the way guys will just go straight to your farm either your farm but your priority will be your bull mama and we're just gonna wait for some more cash here actually we can no longer upgrade anything and there you go we are now on wave number eight at wave number eight guys you gotta upgrade your or you uh, to upgrade number two and also place another Oryu here guys and upgrade him to upgrade number one so the reason why is because uh, well, one or you would not be able to handle like multiple pathways. You guys can see there will be like two entrance to your base and that is something that you need to watch out for. So just to make sure guys and just to be safe, just place like a second or you with one upgrade and do not forget guys to put his priority to closest as well. Just to make sure that you will be able to handle all of those uh, running mods. All right, so wave number nine now. Once you're already on wave number nine, it's now about time for you to place your Shinzo Wasagi or Irwin because we're not gonna start doing the Irwin cycle buff and if you still do not know how to Irwin cycle I already made a video about it guys so just check it out on our channel and right off the bat we're just gonna do the Shinzo Wasagi and while doing that take note that you also need to spend your cash so yep you gotta be fast here guys especially later once we're already you know trying to place some Blackbeards 
But we are now already on way number 10. Way number 10, guys. We're still gonna upgrade our Bull Mama here. Uh, we are now on her upgrade before the 21,000 upgrade. And once you already have some extra cash, you gotta upgrade your second Uryu to upgrade number two. And of course, do not forget your buff. And we're also gonna add some more Uryus along the way. So do not forget guys, only upgrade your Uryus up until to upgrade number two because that's the best and sweet spot for you guys since the waves are not really that strong yet. So as you guys can see, we are now getting the next wave uh, thingy. That is normal guys, do not panic, all right? We will be able to still cope up with that and since we are actually racking some gold here if you can see the same thing here you should be able to see like an upgrade that will cost you 3100 if you did everything correctly so as you guys can see the next upgrade for our speed wagon will be 5500 that's gonna be a long shot right and also for our bull mama it's 21k definitely not gonna be enough so it means that we are now going to start upgrading another or actually our third Oreo here just wait for the cash guys and of course priority still on the closest just to make sure that they will actually prioritize these mobs that are approaching to our base and there you go 1900 do not forget guys that you are still cycling your urban there you go another upgrade so we now have here three or use guys so you can now just uh, try to spam click the next wave if it's still not working just continue adding some more use guys all right there you go almost another upgrade actually shinzo will slog you first and another upgrade again we now have here our fourth Uryu on its second upgrade so can we now okay now we can skip all right so we were 11 now guys we're not gonna do anything special just upgrade and give your bull mama one more upgrade and the rest of your cash will actually go to probably one or two upgrades to your um, speed wagon and the rest of the cash will just go straight on adding a new or you again so still gonna be the same priority guys still give it the same upgrade number and as you guys can see they are now approaching but we should be good here as long as your priority is correct look at that guys that was very very close but yep again if you are having a problem probably your or you is low level so anyway guys wave number 12 we're now gonna spend 42,000 to our bull mama and we now got 13k so we're gonna uh, upgrade our speed wagon again I think that we are going to uh, pause again here because of the limit. Oh no, okay, that was really nice. So we are now on wave number 13, guys. We now have like a lot of cash. Stop upgrading your farm at wave number 13, by the way, guys. And it's now gonna be the time for us to place our very first Tengen. So we gotta upgrade our Tengen up until to the sound speed slash upgrade, you know, like that skill, uh, when he will change his circle AOE to semi AOE cone like this one and put the priority of your Tengen to closest. This is the placement of my Tengen, guys. That's just the placement that I found really the best because if we're gonna place our Tengen here, putting it to closest will kind of mess up his targeting system. You know, he also needs to target like this area over here. So that is the reason why. And uh, while we are waiting for some more mobs and also more cash, actually, we're gonna upgrade our Jeff up until we see 25,000 on the next upgrade. That's gonna be the final and the end of your farm. And for the rest of your cash, I think that we're just gonna place like some more Urius here. I mean, this is the reason why, guys, I really hate this strategy because it's so brain dead and it's so boring to do. Uh, there you go, another. <laughs> Or you there and our final or you will now be here same thing guys only upgrade number two and priority will be closest so the rest of your cash just place another tengen you know <laughs> we're not gonna upgrade our or use yet and just make sure guys that the placement that you can see right now is also the same that you are doing because otherwise maybe two of your urbans will not actually buff the other tengen so while waiting for the next one actually we can now skip all right that's good all right, so we're just gonna put the priority of our second tank into closest and we're now gonna upgrade our actually you know what let's just try to max him out no we still cannot max him out because we're still on wave number 14 but as you guys can see we're handling everything actually quite good we're, we're now just waiting for 30,000 cash for us to have like one maxed out tangent and there you go wave clear wave number 15 now and we now have a lot of cash like literally a lot of cash so our main goal here guys is just to have two max out tangents and as you guys can see we already now have <laughs> all right so two max out tangents should now be enough at least on the lower levels 
uh, for you to actually clear the whole map but of course the placement of your black beard would also be important so you gotta make sure guys that you are upgrading your Uryu as well but just to make things clear guys the priority and also the placement of your black beard would also matter so let's just start first with this area so we're gonna place like a black beard here like on this intersection just leave the priority to first and of course guys you gotta do this while doing the Irwin cycle another black beard here set the priority to last and though the tip that I can give to you guys is make sure that you're only placing like two black beards then go back to your buff just to make sure that you're not gonna mess up your buff all right there you go we just buffed and we are going to place another blackbeard here set his priority to last there you go there you go and we're now gonna go back oh bro, 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 bro. okay there you go all right so we're now done on the right side we're now gonna head on to the left side version of our blackberry placement so one down here priority to last and upgrade number two only guys just do not forget about that okay and we're also gonna place like one here on this intersection priority will be last there you go and let me just make sure that i'm not gonna miss my buff <laughs> i'm, I'm kind of not confident because i think that we already have uh, missed a lot of seconds here so there you go just did not want to do it all over again the next blackbeard guys will go here and priority to last only two upgrades and the last blackbeard will be here all the way here and still good with the same thing priority last all right so we are actually on time there you go so basically guys all of our black beards priority will be on last except for this one like this dude on this intersection it's gonna be first and the rest of your money guys obviously will just go straight to your Uryu. and yep i think that we are now good here guys that's basically the whole strategy already guys all you now need to do is just to maintain your buff just try to make sure that nothing is gonna pass Alright guys, we're now back on track and I think that it's either we just got a really bad RNG or maybe we actually forgot to place like literally one Blackbeard. But anyway guys, still good with the same thing. So this Blackbeard over here will be at priority last. This Blackbeard over here will be at priority last as well. This priority, uh, being this Blackbeard will be at first priority this blackbird will be at last priority that blackbird over there will be at last priority as well and we can already see the boss i'm not really sure what happened on the previous run though probably we really forgot one blackbeard but i might also be wrong guys could have been also like a very bad rng unless that we will die here on our second try but as you guys can see uh, we are now about to clear this side of the map so that's really good i mean the boss is here guys but we're still not gonna sell our blackbeards yet because we need this boss to you know to be slowed down okay as you guys can see the boss over here is already slowed down so we no longer need this blackbeard we're now gonna sell that and uh, for this boss over here let me just buff there you go for this boss over here he's now about to approach this blackbeard so we're gonna sell that blackbeard pretty much sooner this is the final boss over here he's still not slowed down so i guess that we're not gonna touch our blackbeards yet so just gonna shinzo Sasagio here and also just put our excess cash to okay our or you so that we will also get some additional damage thousands of tears later come on man just die <laughs> just drop that okay it's gonna be really scary over here but yep that boss is now deleted and we are now down to our final boss and obviously guys we should have enough to actually kill him because basically he will have the same amount of hp just like those other bosses so yep like what i've said guys there will be some instances that they will be really near or close to your base but as long as they will be slowed guys two tangents max should already be enough i mean this tangent is just here because we have excess cash but it's not like he's actually carrying us you know what i'm saying our main target will be having two at least two maxed out fully buffed tangan and eight maxed out Uryu. gg boys and gg boss we can now claim our mount let's go well this is the mount guys is gonna be that dude who can run fast and yeah there's still no animation well it kind of looks like you were a titan not gonna lie but anyway guys a good luck at getting the mount i hope that the strategy will help you and hopefully guys you will not have any problem on getting it but yeah i'll see you guys again in the next one enjoy your mount and stay cool guys peace out